20 words, 20 days, section 16. Awakening this morning as the alarm rang, a guilt, unexpectedly remembering a girl I met once years ago, while on holiday, out walking in the Appalachians. How I came upon her on the trail, high on the ridge, having seen no one for two days, she in shorts with rucksack, plodding the same direction, but more slowly, a student from some university and taking, what was it, geology? And she wanted to talk, so it seemed a bit lonely too, I suppose, a gawky kid and more than slightly eccentric to be way off there by herself. And I turned, turned from her because my mind said that she was ugly, not attractive, a physical aversion, a disdain, not the woman I imagined for myself at such time and such place. And I walked on ahead as quickly as I could, as if in flight, as if actually pursued. As I flee, the vague guilt, the regret that follows me closely even to this moment, that I should have feared such an ordinary smile of someone out there on that mountain, trudging the same route, sweating the same pack, seeing the same endless trees, assuaging the same oppressions heavy on me. Yes, surely the same, surely however different, or at variance, and yes, preconcerted, the whole thing fixed, rigged, a set-up, granted, the facts of my birth, natural disposition, upbringing, and so forth, no escape, and all now escaped, gone, before I knew fully, without possibility of appeal, as I do appeal, nonetheless, not knowing to whom, as gesture and indictment.